Professionalism is a key factor in building and maintaining the public's trust in the health services. In 2014, the Medical Council carried out a survey of the Irish public and found that approximately 8 in 10 people were very confident, or fairly confident, that their doctor would tell them if there had been a mistake or oversight in the course of their care. However, patient-related incidents sometimes cannot be avoided. In 2014, there were over 53,000 incidents at acute hospitals across Ireland. Reporting these incidents is vital to help understand what went wrong and to strengthen patient safety in the future. But staff can experience many barriers to reporting, including fear of retribution, a belief that somebody else is dealing with the problem, or the perception that nothing would be done as a result of reporting. The Health Information and Quality Authority emphasizes the importance of a culture of quality and safety that promotes openness, transparency, teamwork, and open and effective communication. Working towards this goal, it is vital to understand the challenges and barriers to error reporting that are faced by healthcare teams. In response to this need, the health systems team at University College Dublin, with partners, have adapted the Play Decide Serious Game to create a learning tool that enables productive dialogue around patient safety and error reporting. Play Decide Patient Safety is suitable for all multidisciplinary team members as well as management staff. During a session, participants discuss short case studies which have been developed from real patient and healthcare staff experiences. Following this, they exchange perspectives and formulate a shared group position on key patient safety issues. A session of Play Decide Patient Safety takes approximately 50 minutes to complete and is ideal for groups of four to eight participants. The session has three phases, information gathering, discussion, and group response formulation. During the information gathering phase, players select a story card and summarize it for the group. Then they do the same for information and issue cards. The story cards present short cases relating to patient safety from the perspective of diverse healthcare team members or patients. Information cards contain information about the current patient safety regulations and guidelines and their implications for those working in healthcare settings. Issue cards describe some of the situations where patient safety reporting can be challenging. Next is the discussion phase. The group talk through one or more themes inspired by the cards that they have picked, as well as their own personal knowledge. During this discussion, they try to identify larger themes that all members of the group feel are relevant. If the guidelines are not being respected, yellow cards can be used to bring things back on track and challenge cards can be used to drive discussions forward if they slow down. Participants cluster their cards around themes that reflect the group's vision. During the final phase, the participants read through the four policy positions and seek to agree on which one best represents the views of the group as a whole. They can also formulate their own position. Following this, they vote on which policy they are most comfortable with. The results are then compiled and the group's position on patient safety and reporting is agreed. Play Decide Patient Safety strengthens communications and team working skills among healthcare team members by providing a unique space where they can work together to explore issues that impact on patient safety. Participants develop their understanding of other team members' perspectives, motivations and actions in relation to patient safety and error reporting please visit www.patientsafetydiscussions.ie where you can download the Play Decide Patient Safety game as well as a policy brief on medical professionalism in relation to patient safety and research articles. If you host a workshop using Play Decide Patient Safety and find it helpful in supporting discussions around professionalism and patient safety, please let us know by email at healthsystems at ucd.ie or on Twitter via at UCD Health System. Thank you for your time.